In this problem, we're told the two plates of a capacitor hold a plus 2800 microcoulomb and negative 2800 microcoulomb of charge, respectively, when the potential difference is 930 volts. What is the capacitance? So in this problem, what we're going to be solving for is the capacitance, which we denote by the very, or the letter C. And so let's also write down what we're given. So in this case, they tell us we have a capacitor, right? It has two plates on it. And we know one is going to have a charge of 2800 microcoulombs positive, and the other one's going to be the negative of that. So when they tell you that one plate has this positive charge, one has this negative charge, the way we can just note it as one charge by saying that the charge on the capacitor is just uh, one of those values. Because the way a parallel capacitor works is that one side has the negative of the other. So essentially it's 2800, and then the other side is just negative of that. So we're just going to write Q equals 2800, because that's all you really need to solve this problem. So keep in mind it is micro coulombs. And then we're also told the potential difference between the two is 930 volts. And so when they say potential difference, what they're talking about is basically voltage. And we denote that by V. And so V is equal to 930 volts. So now what we have is the charge Q of this capacitor, right? And we, didn't, we found that based on uh, what they told us, the different plates. And then we also have the voltage. And so we can relate these variables in an equation using this formula right here, Q equals CV. So if you want to solve for the capacitance, you can just divide by the voltage, right? And so you're going to have C equals the charge of uh, the capacitor divided by the voltage. So what is the charge in this case? So it's going to be 2800 uh, microcoulombs, and micro just means times 10 to the minus 6. So this is really just 2800 times 10 to the minus 6, and that's coulombs now. And then you can go ahead and divide by the voltage. So in this case, it's 930 volts. So you're going to do 2800. 2800 times 10 to the minus 6, and then divide that by the voltage, so 930. And so you're going to get that the capacitance is equal to 3.01 times 10 to the minus 6. And the units that we use to denote capacitance is uh, farads. So you can say F, and so since this is 10 to the minus 6, I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite this as 3.01 microfarads, right? Just like we did here, we're just going to use micro. So uh, the capacitance of this capacitor is going to be 3.01 uh, microfarads or 3.01 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. So yeah, this is going to be your answer and hopefully you found this useful.